my god, oh my god. What is he doing? If your car starts flaming, overheating that much where it just bursts into flames, that's pretty extreme. Hello guys, whoa, we made it through the day. Yes, we did. I gotta show y'all something. We had a crazy day, okay? So, our Hooters is located right up on the highway. I'm still in the parking lot. I'm not driving and vlogging. Don't you worry. Well, I kinda am. But look at this. This is intense, people. That car caught on fire today. Like, I'm scared that it's gonna control the grass. I think so too. It's going pretty fast. Yeah, very fast. I don't know what happened. It was overheated or something, but caught on fire. I mean, it spread so fast and it backed all the way back, back. It goes so far, y'all. That's not even, I mean, y'all can see some of the, the fire truck was over there. They're kind of moving, but went pretty deep is all I know. And it kind of freaked me out because at first I didn't know what happened. I just was bartending along and all of a sudden I see fire flames out the window and I'm like, whoa, that is a fire. And my first thought was to freak out because I'm like, okay, this is going to be a lot more extreme. The fire was pretty big. I was under the assumption that it was a, um, What's it called? 18 wheeler. But it wasn't an 18 wheeler. But in my mind, I was thinking, you know, if there's like gas, helium, petroleum, whatever they carry around on these roads, that could be bad. Because all we saw was a whole bunch of flames. Grass caught on fire real quick. And after that, I mean, it spread so fast. We are on a burn ban and it is windy as heck today. So that didn't help it. I mean, it goes all the way back. It goes pretty far. And then everybody's like, well, it can't cross over the road. But I was kind of freaking out because there were so many much smoke you couldn't really see anything heck if a tree branch or a grass catches fire or gets in the wind and comes on our side it'll catch our place on fire you know fires are just scary i don't want to burn to death okay i don't really necessarily want to die but i definitely don't want to burn oh you can t they're having a hard time keeping this fire tamed because they keep on going over it there's areas that keep wanting to try to pop flames and still, it's pretty hot. I mean, whoa, it's very hot. It's very hot. Holy bejesus. Oh, that just gives you an even better picture of how hard it is to keep this fire under control because of the heat. It's hard, okay? Pretty freaking smoky if you ask me. And so is my camera, because my camera is smoking now, because it's super hot in here. But yeah, uh, the car, I, everybody in the car, I'm guessing is okay. Uh, they were out on the curbside, but there's an ambulance over here now. <gasps> there was a kid in the car. So freaking sad, y'all. Oh my gosh. But, um, yeah, that's where we're at. And so I probably won't get to get out of here because there's so much traffic. It's good and bright for you. It's everything that I desire. Can I be the one you use? I, I, I'm small but you, you. I'll beg you now. I, I, I'm weak but Imagine how scary that must have been for the child and even the parents to know that your car is on fire and the kid is in the back seat and you just know that the car's on fire and the kid needs to get out of the car but then you've got a highway where there's cars flying all over the place and people don't even pay attention on the road and you just tell your kid to get out of the car and they run out of that. I mean I would be so scared that my little kid would just jump out of the car and run in front of the cars I mean it could have gone really bad really fast I'm hoping everybody was okay I'm fairly certain everybody was you saw the family on the bottom of the fire place I don't know hill if you will. 
left. So I will keep you guys updated whenever I figure out what happened. Maybe on the news tonight they will explain some stuff, but most of the time they don't actually follow through and stuff like that. But I will. I will let you know, or I won't. We shall see. But I really hope I keep slapping my face. I really hope you did something great for your body today, and I really, really hope you at least, I don't know, what could we do? A little fire brainy quote here. Make sure that the fire inside your body, your soul, your spirit is a lot stronger and brighter than the fire on the outside of you. The people around you that are bringing you down, the life situations, the battles that you face in your life, just make sure that your fire is stronger, brighter, bigger. Talk to you later.